injection well is a deeper than wide pipe that is placed vertically into the ground located downstream of potable water sources. Injection wells were developed in the 1950s in the United States mainland to provide a means for chemical companies to inject industrial waste into deep wells. At that time, injection was a relatively safe and inexpensive option for the disposal of unwanted and often hazardous industrial byproducts. Today, it is also used as a method for disposing of human wastewater. My name is Robin Knox. I'm a water quality specialist. I have 25 years experience in clean water regulation and pollution control, and I'm currently working with the University of Hawaii on Maui looking at the impacts of sewage injection wells on the coral reef and our ocean resources. Wastewater management on Maui is very challenging. We live in you know, this very volcanic island with steep slopes and hard, a lot of rocky soils and it's hard to install sewer systems. We have, um, County of Maui has sewer systems that cover the major populated areas and the wastewater from those collection systems goes into um, treatment systems and then is disposed of by um, either injection into injection wells where the wastewater then goes into the groundwater and from there can get into the ocean or alternatively it could be reused but we're very limited right now on how much we reuse. The county of Maui processes nearly 15 million gallons of wastewater per day only 3 million gallons, which amounts to 22% of that effluent is reused. The Kihei and Lahaina wastewater reclamation facilities produce recycled water that meets or exceeds all State Department of Health standards. This reclaimed water is called R1 effluent. R1 effluent is suitable for landscape irrigation, crop irrigation, construction activities, cooling, toilet flushing, and for animals to drink. The three county plants, the big ones, are in Kahului um, and Lahaina and Kihei. The water comes into our treatment plant. We screen out things like, like rags and, and other kind of large things like sticks. Uh, and then we give the wastewater a lot of air. We, we basically breathe the microorganisms. And while we're giving them air, we run them through different, um, through different environments of air where we control their life cycle. And what we do is we, that takes the nitrogen, which is the big concern for ocean environment, which is a solid material, and it, through their life cycle, turns it into gas and it goes off into the environment. And the air, the, uh, the atmosphere is mostly nitrogen anyway. So basically 60, 70% of the nitrogen that's in wastewater is transmitted, is transferred to gas, and goes off into the atmosphere. We keep, we keep feeding the, uh, the, the microorganisms air, they keep eating, and eventually they cling together and they separate from the water. So we end up with clean water that looks a lot like drinking water, and with these biosolids, which I already said, go to composting. So the water is then chlorinated, we run it through another filtration process, and then it gets to the point where we have to get rid of it. So we get rid of our water in two ways. Either we reuse it, and we reuse uh, from the Lahaina treatment plant, about a million gallons a day, or about 20% of that water. And that's mostly used at Conopoly on the golf courses and for, um, for greenways and things like that. So that water that gets reused goes through ultraviolet disinfection, which are ultraviolet lamps that sterilize any pathogens that are in that water. And so about a million gallons of that water every day goes towards reuse. The other water, about four million gallons, maybe a little less, goes down the injection wells. The injection well water it does not go through the ultraviolet treatment. It goes down these deep pipes into the ground. It goes down a couple of hundred feet. And that water moves outward through the ground, eventually comes out into the ocean. Most injection wells in Maui County deposit effluent at depths greater than 300 feet below the water table. However, because the effluent is less dense than brackish ground water, it quickly rises to the well's surface and is ejected at shoreline springs. Even though treated, wastewater effluent contains residual amounts of nitrogen and phosphorus, two compounds that are constituents of plant fertilizer. The growth-promoting properties of these compounds are the same whether on land or sea, 
providing a variety of algae species with a nutrient mixture that is ideal for aggressive and unnatural growth. The injection of wastewater into the ocean can be a problem if the pollutant loads associated with the wastewater um, are higher than what the natural ecosystem can handle. Um, and in particular, nutrients are a problem with coral reefs because the coral reef is normally a low nutrient environment, especially for nitrogen. And sewage, um, even sewage that's fairly well treated, still has a pretty significant nitrogen load. So one of the issues is nitrogen, but we know that um, sewage is a complex mix of all kinds of things and it includes other nutrients, micronutrients, different minerals that plants need to grow. Um, and so when you put all of this things that are good for plants out in the water and you happen to have an invasive algae or perhaps even a native algae that, that really likes the conditions, that algae can take over and bloom. And that can cause problems on the reef with um, you know, competition for space, mothering of the reef and even, even can cause um, shifts in the mi microbial populations of the reef as well. There's evidence, recent evidence by the research team that the nitrogen does fuel the algae blooms. We, um, Megan Daler, who is the researcher looking at the Lahaina plant um, in detail, she has done experiments where she, um, first of all, there's a tracer of nitrogen a stable isotope that puts, has a different signal if the nitrogen source is fertilizer versus um, animal waste such as human sewage. So she's detected that there is a large signal for sewage in the vicinity of the injection wells. Then she's also done experiments with wastewater addition that show that the algae actually respond to the wastewater additions so um, they, they grow more, they get a deeper color. Um, to me, as a pollution control expert, they were very telling because it showed a direct response in the environment and a tracer that could be associated with the source. So these are important pieces of information to help us understand how to control the pollution. As injection wells go, the ones on Maui are relatively shallow, several hundred feet. They are in the coastal brackish water zone. The water that's being injected is fresh water, the sewage, and it's less dense than the salt water. So it has a tendency to make a buoyant plume in the groundwater and come up out right on the reef. And uh, it's interesting over on the, the reef where the Lahaina effluent comes out, it's even uh, actually warm. You can feel it.